Welcome to Culture Wire. I'm your host, Meg Schiffler. Did you know that the city of San Francisco has an art collection consisting of 3,500 objects? The collection ranges from paintings and objects placed in public buildings to WPA-era murals, and from bronze busts in City Hall to site-specific sculpture throughout the city. At this time, many of the large sculptural public works are in desperate need of repair, and a long-term innovative solution is needed to ensure that these public treasures will be cared for. The story of the Arts Commission's new program, Art Care, begins with venerable San Francisco art dealer Ruth Bronstein. 2010 marks Ruth's 50th year as an art dealer. At the helm of the Bronstein Key Gallery, Ruth has represented some of the most notable Bay Area artists and continues to look for new talent. The artists that I represent, and why do I choose them in my gallery, has to do with, uh, with uh, uh, the background of, of what the gallery is about. And I love the idea of finding new guys and, and, and watching them grow. You know, it's the old traditional, old-fashioned way of having a gallery, which is the, uh, having a stable. And so, so what you have there is a, a loyalty to them and the artist is loyal to you. So, you know, the whole philosophy behind that in the gallery that I run anyway, my philosophy hasn't changed since, the, since I started 49 years ago. I take care of you and you take care of me. And you know, it's been that way ever since. Ruth represents the estate of world-renowned sculptor Peter Volkus, who passed away in 2002. In 1971, he created a beloved untitled public work cited at 7th and Bryant. Like many other public works of art, this sculpture is in need of repair. Ruth began conversations with Director of Cultural Affairs Luis Cancel, and Art Care was born. Art Care will, will uh, be responsible to uh, look over all the pieces and decide which pieces uh, uh, need the repair, the most repair, and to bring it back to what it was before. And that's what I'm after. So that they will take that poor, poor Peter Volkus, if you ride by it on the corner of 7th and Bryant, you can't even see it as you ride down 7th Street. You can only see it when you get in front of it. The Peter Volkus sculpture, untitled 1971, located outside of the Hall of Justice in San Francisco, is actually one of the first pieces commissioned by the Arts Commission after the advent of the 1969 Art Enrichment Ordinance. So it's quite significant that we are planning to treat it as a part of the art care program. Art Care has plans to take care of several other pieces in the collection, including Man Lin Choi's bronze sculpture located in Ferry Park. That's a monument to the Korean community of San Francisco. Uh, it's been sit situated in the park for over 20 years. It has become a bit of a magnet for vandalism. We're also looking at several Henry Moore sculptures that are located within the city, one in front of the Symphony Building. That needs to be repatinated as well uh, and treated with a protective coating. We're also looking at Robert Arneson's Yin and Yang. It's a much loved piece uh, that people interact with. However, unfortunately, as a result, the patina has been damaged over time and we need to treat it. Art Care was launched to the public on May 20th, 2010 at the San Francisco Fine Art Fair. Ruth was celebrated with a Lifetime Achievement Award for her contributions to and influence of the Bay Area cultural community. The Lifetime Achievement Award is, uh, you know, it's, it, it's, it's embarrassing to me like mad, but then I have to learn to accept it and, you know, and this is the way it is. And, and also, uh, it's nice to hear, you know, everybody hears the good things happening about them after they're dead. So I am, I'm having the opportunity to, uh, to see this happen while I'm still alive. I looked upon this uh, award as a, a, an opportunity for me to uh, find a place for myself in keeping the art care program going. Arts Commission Director of Programs, Jill Manton, addressed the crowd and asked for each member to consider donating funds to help save some of San Francisco's most important neighborhood landmarks. As one of San Francisco's living treasures. Wow. We respect you 
And frankly, we are in awe of your, tire your 50 years of tireless efforts as an early art entrepreneur. Giving is contagious. I'd like to be the first, perhaps the first, donation to Art Care, and I pr present you with a check to get the ball rolling. Because I know that the Arts Commission is very sincere about this. I'm going to make a personal commitment of 10,000. What is significant about the Art Care program is the way it's set up allows us to treat the artworks that have the most need, the ones that our conservators have a pointed out as the most vulnerable, as opposed to ones that maybe are the most popular or uh, the most visible. Art Care is a fantastic opportunity for the public to get involved with these artworks that are located in their backyard and ultimately belong to them as citizens of San Francisco. I want to do something for the community and I'm just giving back all that, uh, what the community has done for me. It's a corny phrase, but it's true. This is a word called giving back. You know, it really is, this is what it is. And that I will be able to see more pieces cleaned up. Culture Wire will check back with the art care program in the future and see the fruits of conservation and revitalization efforts. If you'd like to find out more or donate to art care, visit sfartscommission.org. Thanks for watching Culture Wire.